Joy Behar now whining on The View, demanding that we stop claiming that Trump has a mandate. And by the way, this idea that Trump won with some kind of mandate is not true. I mean, we, we, we have information there. He, he beat Kamala Harris by 1.6 percent. Joe Biden beat Trump by 4.5 percent, and nobody said it was a mandate. So get that out of your lips, out of your mouth. These people were saying it's, it's, it's a mandate. It's not a mandate. And another thing, one more thing. Why are all these cabinet members, on, people that he's seen on television, is he going to put Vanna White in there now? Yes. I mean, every single one of them is yes. known to us. Okay, Joy Behar, once again, is very confused. The reason that Trump is said to have a mandate here is not because he won the election by 1.6%. He didn't win the election by 1.6%. He won the election in a landslide. He got 312 electoral votes. Electoral votes is what determines uh, who wins the presidential election. He only needed 270 to win, and he got uh, 312. He totally destroyed Kamala Harris. That number, the 1.6 or 1.8% that she's referencing, is the popular vote. Trump also won the popular vote. First time a Republican's done that in 20 years. Democrats have an advantage in the popular vote because Republicans generally don't campaign in the big Democrat states, New York and California, because the Democrats are going to win it anyway. It's a waste of campaign dollars and time. If they did campaign there, they'd win the popular vote by a lot more, presumably. So it was the fact that he won the popular vote at all means there was a mandate. But even beyond that, the reason there was a, a mandate to govern is that the voters gave the Republicans unified government, the House, the Senate, and the White House. And the conservatives already have the Supreme Court. That's why it was a mandate. And then then she, she compares it. She says, well, Biden won in a, by a far greater number than the popular vote. Well, yeah, sort of. The Democrats changed all the election rules, and there were a lot of, <laughs> a lot of sketchy changes to how elections were conducted there. And When the rules started to go back in the other direction, Kamala lost in in a landslide. Then furthermore, she complains that Trump picks people who who are good on TV. Yeah, look, this is responsive government, okay? in, In a popular government, government of the people, it's very important for politicians to be able to communicate. So Trump picks people who have good credentials generally, who are really talented people, who have achievements under their belt, and who also happen to be able to communicate. Good. That is a vindication of popular government. That is what the people asked for when they gave Trump a mandate to govern. That was a great clip. Now stop, ring the bell, subscribe. We will see you next time.